on uh, ESPN3. And now we get set for our next match and you hear the roar go up from the crowd here in Istanbul. That's because the hometown archer Natalia Nazaritza will be competing against the top seeded Jung Dasomi of Korea. The Koreans very strong. Yeah, Korea. In Korea, archery is a national sport and uh, archers, top archers are heroes, real heroes. Um, Jung Dasomi is a young one. Uh, she's a startup. Uh, in the last one and a half years, she was uh, becoming. She became really strong. Newcomer on the uh, Korean team this season. Yeah, and world rank one. That means uh, she is strong. She come out strong this year. Came out strong this year. Uh, on the paper, there's no story behind it. Uh, she will win, but. We've seen this weekend the sum of uh, some nice surprises, yes. a few surprises yesterday. And Natalia Nazaridze is shooting since uh, my time. <laughs> I know her since 20 years, so she is an experienced archer. She is a veteran. She represented Turkey at the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney and four years later in Athens as well. Also competed at the first two stages this year on the World Cup stage in Croatia and Turkey. And speaking of the Olympics, she was also at the 92 games in Barcelona. For and her team actually came in fourth at the 96 games in Atlanta. Yeah, and uh, it's interesting. 92, she was uh, shooting for the um, Russian nations. At that time, not Russia, uh, Russia, um, Russia anymore. Uh, and 96, she shot for Georgia. And then she moved to Turkey, and uh, now she shoots for Turkey. And strong start for Dazomi Jung. It's a 10. So Nazariza trying to match it, and it's an eight. So she watched the other arrows of Ina Stepanova, uh, saw that she was left, so she probably counter-aimed to the right and shot that eight. Trying to learn from the experience of others. Ooh, that's a seven. A little bit off target that time for Jung Dasomi. Pushed it too hard up, so that opened the opens the door for Natalia Nazariza. <laughs> She aimed off the first, she aimed in the center the second, and she hit the 10. So she goes ahead by one. And the Turkish archer leading 18-17, and that also is an opportunity right now for Nazaritza. Nazaritza can clinch a match with an eight. Uh, I would say... Ooh, she did just an eight, so we have a 2-0 lead with two eights and a 10. Well, it's a weak start for Dazumi Yun. Definitely weak start, but uh, she will come back. She's ranked number one. We will see a second set, which will be a little bit uh, under pressure for Natalia Nazaritza because now she's leading and trailed by number one in the world. <laughs> so. so the wake-up call has come for Jung who won a gold medal with the Korean women's team in Turkey, where she also won the individual gold medal at stage number two. It seems like ages ago. It was just actually this past summer. But with all the travel that these archers do around the world, it's amazing how they're able to handle the jet lag, arrive, adjust for conditions, and compete at the high level they, they compete at. There's Alba Nalonganova from Russia who was eliminated yesterday. Mm, big now upset for her. Very big upset. She was the defending world champion. 10. So Cheng Ming, or excuse me, Jung Dasomi. Making an adjustment. Ui, that's a six. <laughs> oh. Unexpected six for Natalia Nazaritza. That opens three doors to Dasomi Jung. I think uh, she won't lose this set. Uh, she's strong. Straight, it's a 10. Wouldn't so surprise that we see the first perfect score in the ladies today. Back to back 10s right there at the Somi. She knows she, she cannot come back. Uh, there was a fast shot. So it may be a short lived lead for Nazaridze, who won the first set and took a 2 nothing lead. Oh, it's a 9. Close. I expected the first 30 today, Carl, but... You but see. that should work. <laughs> should be enough. We are still waiting for it. It will come. Seven. Ooh, that's a weak, weak end. Eight, seven, six, she dropped nine points. 21. 21 points to the 29 in that set for Dasomi from yeah. Korea. 
uh, will be interesting now to see the third. I always say uh, that it is important to start. I think it's an advantage to be the first shooter. Uh, but the third set in a tie situation, it's the most important because it's like in the playoffs. Third game mm -hmm. is the one which is the most important. You have five games. The third is, the, if you are 1-1, one, one, the third game is the one deciding who is leading. It can leading. swing the momentum. That's the problem. And exactly this is uh, may happen here. So this end uh, will um, show us who has the pressure for the last ends. Turkish fans up in the grandstands with their fingers crossed and hoping for the best for their country women. Natalia Nazaridze, 39 years old, currently unranked. Her highest previous ranking was sixth in the world back in 2003. And she's taking on a young lady who is currently ranked number one in the world and shows why. Ten. And for your information, wind came up again, so she's handling wind now and shoots a ten. Let's see Natalia. Five. Weak shot, very weak shot. Opens again two doors for Dazumi Jung. Barely a 10, it's a 9 low. So Jung, the number one seed, drawing the number eight seed, earned that draw. Shakes a lot, eight. Uh, trying to correct and make the adjustment. And it comes up with an eight after firing a five on her first shot. Now back to the Korean. Okay. It's a nine. Ten on nine, do you see the group? Carl, mm -hmm. it's center. It's just a little bit high, low, high, low, but the center is there. And what uh, Naz Natalia Nazaritza is missing is the left. Uh, she's going left, right. She doesn't find a way to the center. So it's a 20 versus a 28. She dropped again eight points. So, so in the set system, she loses the set by eight, but only gives up two points. However, those two points push to Somi ahead, four to two in the match, so the match may have turned right there in the third set, we'll have to wait and see, but an opportunity here for the Korean to wrap things up in four sets if she can win with the next three arrows. Carl, <coughs> number one in the world with 4-2 lead. You're I putting your money on her? I would. <laughs> for, unfortunately, we have not, uh, we cannot bet on this, but. No, uh, no. I well, and we would never do that as gentlemen, would we? Definitely not. Never, never, never. never. We want to see the sport. And uh, the first arrow now for Natalia Nazaritza. She will shoot the first arrow because she is trailing. Wouldn't it be interesting if she came back and won this set? Wow. To tie things up at four. The first three matches have been decided by scores of six to four. Yeah. But look at this. If we see her target again, there is no arrow which is high or low. She is moving left and right, left and right. Dazomi Jung is really shooting into the gold, 9, 10, but Natalia doesn't find a way. Look at the holes. They are all left and right, mm -hmm. except the 10 and this 9. All at the same height. The height would be good, but she's losing direction. Then 9 drawing a cheer from the crowd. The Turkish fans trying to cheer on their hometown archer. It's still not over. We have a two-point lead uh, for Dazomi Jung. So Natalia can put the pressure, uh, but not with an 8. Not with an 8, no. Uh, I think seven, a seven to win the set. To wrap it up and win six to four, and she will do exactly that. Three consecutive nines in the fourth set, and so she does indeed win that fourth set. She won the last three sets, so after falling behind two nothing, after the first three arrows, the Korean comes back, wins the next three sets, picks up her six points, and wins convincingly six to two. She will advance to the semifinals where she will face Cheng Ming, who just defeated Ines Stepanova of Russia just moments ago. So an interesting round here in the quarterfinals for the women, Andreas. Yeah, we will have a semifinal with four different nations uh, competing. Uh, that's a difference between today and yesterday. Yes. Yesterday we have the Americans uh, leading by far everything. They won everything. Uh, in the women's, we do have France, we do have China, we do have India, and we do have Korea. Uh, as you see, very international feel. 